What's up everybody? It's your boy Titanic Feet Jack and I'm back at you with another video. Today we're going to take a look at a shoe. It's set to release sometime in September. I want to say September the 9th. But before we get into that sneaker, I need a couple things from you. I need you to hit that like button on today's video. Also leave a comment in the comment section. Let me know your thoughts on today's video and the sneaker we're about to look at. And do it that notification bell so you'll be notified every time I upload a video. And also look in the description box. I have some links in there where you can save some money on products like shoe cases that are displayed behind me. You can get you some merch from my brand that I up started. So take a look at that and let's get into the video. Now today the video is a silhouette that happens to be the quote unquote in silhouette right now. Uh, you may have seen a video or two on it. I believe Sneakers did do a shot drop on this sneaker maybe a month ago or a few weeks ago at the time of recording this video. So we're going to take a look at the box. You're probably going to know what the sneaker is. See the black box, flighting white, red, Jordan Jumpman. You got the splatter all over the boxes, the small details. And here's a look at that box tag right there, your label. Okay, I'm gonna read it to you. It says Air Jordan 4 Retro, and the color is white, fire red, and black. This is a US size 12, and I believe these will retail at a price of 210 US dollars. Look at all around the box, all around black box, and underneath, you can see that's what it looks like underneath the box. It is a fold over box top. You can see it's red on the inside of the top. No top of a uh, lot stamp up there. It's normally red anyway. Uh, lately, we're getting some blue lot stamps. You can see your paper. You got the splatter all over the paper. Smooth on the uh, side, the splatter on. A little rough on the other. You got another little sheet of tissue in here. Nothing extra in the box as it appears right now, but I just want to double check. Yep, nothing extra in the box, guys. So that's everything for this sneaker. Let's get into the video. Here you go, guys. We have the Air Jordan Retro 4. They call it needs the red cement. Let me know your thoughts on this sneaker from uh, the first site you get on here. Uh, me personally. I believe it is a really good sneaker. You do have some awesome leather on here, but uh, I'm not sure if I'm gonna get a personal pair. So let's just hop into the video. You have white leather. This sneaker is made on all white base. You do have some tumble leather in there. It's pebbled up right here. All over the sneaker where there is white leather. You do have your white netting system right here on the uh, quarter panel. You do have your wings on here. You got the red with the black splat on here and it's topped off with the black waffle cone thing to the top. Also, you have another one right here up front at the beginning of the laces. Looking at the midsole, you do have a polyurethane midsole. You got your red right here with the black splatter. You got your hit, you know, right here, like you see on fours normally. Then you do have the white on your midsole going around your air housing. You have an exposed air sole unit with a clear bubble. You have a white inside here, and you do have a little hit of tech gray at the very bottom of that midsole. And that's going to lead us to the outsole. You do have herringbone traction on the outsole of the Jordan 4 like you normally do. You do have the red Jordan Jump Man right here. You got that hit of white in the mid of the foot. You got that tech gray toward the heel, toward the back of the sneaker. And you got your black up here. You hit up that red and the little gray at the front. And you do have the stars. Once you start wearing these, the stars start to wear away. That's a good indication if someone trying to sell you a used pair, you can look at the stars on here and see how worn on, worn off, I should say, excuse me, they are. Looking at the heel of the sneaker, you have your heel tab right here in that red. With the splatter on it, you do have a black Jordan Jumpman. It is embossed on here. Uh, a little more of that leather coming around from the lateral side and a heel 
with the red splatter and all that good stuff. And we're going to go to the uh, medial side of the sneaker. You have more of that awesome white pebbled up leather. It is nice and soft to the touch. In my opinion, of course that is. And you have your white netting system on here with the uh, red wing extender with the black splat on there. Topped off with the black waffle cone up top and at the bottom right here more of that red uh with the splatter on it on your midsole that polyurethane materials and the exposed air unit again with the white bubble i'm sorry with the white inside clear bubble and your black hit right here you can get you another good look at those stars which is going to lead us to the toe box of the sneaker one of my favorite parts of the sneaker let's see what's inside here we do have tissue inside of the sneaker. Your sneakers are gonna come stuffed with tissue. No cardboard trees this time. So back to the toe box and some nice leather. I'm trying not to go down that rabbit hole, but uh, not gonna buy these shoes. I'm not gonna buy these shoes. <laughs> okay, you have your white netting on the tongue. It leads all the way up to here. It comes with one set of laces, your black flat laces. These are the only laces that these can with, so you're pretty safe with putting a pair of black laces in here, or you can put a pair of red laces in here, your choice. Or maybe Slick is gonna make some red laces with the black splatter on there. That's just very interesting. Anybody from Slick is listening to this video, red laces with the black splatter, just like this, get some laces like that to go with these that'll be a win all day you have leather up here on the tongue and you also have a woven patch with the Jordan John brand and flight label on here turn around the back of the tongue focus okay you have your Air Jordan patch woven on Air Jordan upside down rumor is this is on here like this so people can read Jordan and when he dunking on them. <laughs> yes, the sock liner is black, nice, soft black sock liner. Let's see, can we get to that uh, sizing tag? Give you guys a good look at the sizing tag. That's the sizing tag right there. Let's go ahead and read it to you. We got a US size 12 production date. January the 11th of 2023 to, to March 15th of 2023. So you got about a couple of months of production with these. So again, these will be released in September. I believe the magic date is September the 9th. So if you're gonna be going for these, uh, look out for all your raffles. I'm pretty sure we Hibbit slash City Gear are gonna have these on their app for raffle. Foot Locker will probably have them as well with a couple of stores that they do have left in existence. Maybe Champs as well. Of course, JD Sports Finish Line are going to do their uh, their grab first, their exclusive access, which I never get. Uh, who else? Snipes probably going to have these. These probably going to be all over is my assumption. So let me know your thoughts on this sneaker and your plans, if you're going to get it or not. Me personally, I think I'm going to sit this one out. I am not going to get this for the toe. But here we go, the Air Jordan Retro 4 Red Cement. And I'm going to let you go by telling you guys, if you can help somebody get a sneaker, help them get that sneaker. Because you never know. Well, it will be your turn to need help getting a sneaker. I'm Titanic Feet Jack, signing out.